Hello, reformers, and welcome back to Novaritas. Now, when we left off, we had engaged the Aztecs, and things didn't go necessarily as we would have liked. But that's just how it is. Sometimes, you know, you have some setbacks, and sometimes you have some rather nice progressions. Now, I have been to the Vagias, and... I'm now coming back into the Rodok territory, and I thought I would start here because this is cool. We actually do gain a couple of prestige points. I don't think it's... Is it? Is it actually working? Wait a minute, we became king, didn't we? Yes, we became king. So, technically, we should have the next level of prestige available to us, because before that, we did not, and it was locked behind the potential of vassalage and of course of becoming a liege so yeah there we go so well I'm, I'm gonna actually take a look at that in just a second but I thought that was pretty cool 200 for free was really nice so yes now we're going to head over to Jacala I decided to go and get some Vigia units so that we could potentially you know have some more archers and maybe use that to our advantage but on the way there I would very much like to make something. I would like to make make something, yes. So let's see what we can do here. Okay, so I want leather armor, of course. And now this is the thing that I wanted to show you before we even took the castle in Aztec lands. And I thought, yes, this is going to be really nice because it's going to get us ready for the attacks against the Aztecs. And no, no, we just took it. No problem. Yeah, I still have no chest armor, by the way. I haven't really fought anything since then. So... Yeah, do bear that in mind. So, let's have a look here. Yes, it's becoming better. It is becoming even better, and... Yeah, that. This is what we are going to be going for. And, as you see, it requires four in craftsmanship skill. And we have that, obviously. So, yeah, that is the best armor that I can see right here. And... I can only imagine how it's going to be. So, we need one of these... I don't know what it is, can't really see, but yeah, uh, leather plate, we need leather plate and a leather coat. Okay, so leather plate and leather coat. I already have the leather thong, apparently, that I need, so yes, we're going to try and get the leather coat and two leather plates. So one coat, two plate, alright? So let's see if we can get that. So intermediates, we need to get... One coat, two plate, right? Yeah, I think so. So let's craft one leather plate. Okay, so I need to go over here and we're going to sew something, I, I think. Yes, let's sew some fabric. Oh, yes, there we go. We're sewing. If I could actually do it properly, it would be nice. I would just wanted to turn around my camera so that I could see things, but maybe I can do it this way. Oh, there we go. Oh, yes, there we are. We're, we're sewing very intricately. Very, very nice. And I I have done this before, the sewing bit, so I'm not entirely sure what's going to come next, because that was a very... Oh, okay. Never mind, it was just doing, doing that. Okay, well, that's perfectly fine. I'm happy with that. So, yes, now let's see what else there is. There is a leather coat. We need that, of course. So we only need one coat, and we need another plate, but I thought we may as well make the coat. Maybe it's just literally sewing. Maybe that's all we need to do. That would be nice. That would be nice. But of course I need another plate after this. I won't show that on screen because obviously we've already seen it. I thought it was going to require a little bit more than uh, what we've currently done. But I hope that this is actually going to result in us gaining the really really awesome armor. But obviously that armor I'm not entirely sure whether it is available to us because did it actually give us a strength requirement? There's probably going to be a strength requirement, but I didn't see one, and obviously that's... Uh, it's probably going to be like 18 or 20 or something along those lines, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it just be the case? But look at it. It's absolutely insane. So we need one more plate, so I'm going to get that. All right, so we have built the... Well, crafted the leather plate. So let's go for the leather armor once more and now we have basically enough requirements to build any of these things but obviously the <laughs> oh yes the armor we're looking for is insanely good so there we go that's it that is what we need so let's craft it do you wish to sell your crafted item to the town for 3,000 florins I don't know why you do that or do you want to keep it we're gonna keep it there we go 
Heraldic King Armor. Very nice. Okay, so is that it? I thought I would have to do something. But no, apparently I don't. And there it is. It requires no strength requirement. Yeah, requires no strength requirement. Oh, that's that's very that's very redundant, isn't it? Anyway, there it is. Look at that. This is the reason why I wasn't really wanting to purchase another torso armor, because I made this for less than... I don't even know. I made it for less than 2,000, basically. So, yeah. Pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. And I could probably craft some better boots as well, but obviously I think I don't have any more. I have one more leather, which is certainly not enough to do anything with. So, yeah, we're going to move on. I have some dyes as well from our colony, of course. So, we're going to now, oh yes, with our new armor, we are going to now head back to our castle and see if we can engage a couple of Aztecs, but first I would... Oh, hello, deserters. Yes, you thought you could get me, didn't you? You thought you could get me, but it's not going to work, or is it? Apparently it is going to work. Oh, no. Okay, well, Rodok Spearman. 39 versus 39. This is actually kind of amusing. Okay, so, do bear in mind, I have Vagia recruits, which are basically farmers, peasants, and the like. I also have a couple of Vagia footmen, but they have not advanced in level thanks to our trainer skill very much, so this is going to be great, isn't it? Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be really good. Okay, so I have my war bow. Hopefully I'll be able to use it to good effect, but as we know, I don't really have a very good proficiency, so. Yeah, it's Oh, they have no shields. This is amazing. Okay, so this is basically a shooting gallery for me, which is kind of nice. So I'm gonna be able to Wow, okay. Oh uh, oh no. Oh no. I have a bad feeling about this. Maybe I should have paid them. Maybe I should have paid them off. That maybe would have been a better idea. I'm now running very slowly. They uh, Do they have more athletics than I do? I'm not entirely sure, but I do not want my armor to get stolen. So I'm just going to charge everyone in and see what we can do. Because hopefully the spearmen are just going to be kind of pointless at close range. I can only hope that that is the case. Maybe. Because as you can see, I mean, they're, they're not particularly good. They do have swords. So I suppose that is a problem. But yes, oh yeah, also I did buy another rapier from the Rodox because I thought to myself, okay, I am going to want to upgrade our recruits and hopefully that is going to make a good deal of difference. But obviously uh, having a weapon and then just dying instantly thanks to having poor armor, it's probably not the greatest idea. So what I might actually do is off screen, I might decide to craft another piece of armor like this, like what we are wearing, and then just kit one of our really really decent recruits out in that so I'm gonna go back to the castle gonna start the recruiting process and there we go we actually won with recruits amusingly enough because the spearmen couldn't do any damage so there you go so there's 10 prestige I'm not gonna really take them thank you very much and yeah we're gonna take a couple just to sell there we go okay so let's have a look here so yes these guys can now level up into skirmishers thankfully enough and they can all level up into footmen very very nice didn't come across anyone else on our travels here weirdly enough but oh well that's that's fine I suppose and we're now gonna go into Zendar and there's our ship awaiting us so yeah I'm gonna have to go into the die works and give them the dies but there's the there's the balanced rapier that I bought and we're now gonna sell the rest of what we have here not the sword of Harlaus thank you very much and the war bow might be for one of our companions I'm not entirely sure do they do they have archery I don't, I don't think they, they don't seem to have archery skills so I'll just leave that there we go so how is our die works actually doing I mean we know that it's gaining huge amounts of profit but let's take a look at the stockpile oh, okay it's 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 using our dies okay I mean I would love to be able to produce what is it? Not silk, but it's like wool or something that they require? I'm not entirely sure, but oh, there we go. They're actually full up with dye. So, oh, can I? Oh, okay, so I can't give them everything. I need to just have one space, otherwise I can't leave for some reason. But okay, that's perfectly fine. So let's head into our ship and I'll see you back at the castle. Alright, so we have reached our castle and we're now going to train some troops. Now, what I'm going to do is off screen, obviously as I mentioned before, I'm going to go back to our tailor, probably construct another piece of armor similar to what we are currently wearing, and then give that armor to whatever unit we decide to recruit here. So, how much money are we willing to spend? Well, that's the thing. We also have to spend time. And we do have... 
quite a lot of money, and I would very much like to get heavy infantry or maybe Huskals. So, what, what, what is actually going on here? How come the Huskals take 10 more days, but they are cheaper? It's actually kind of weird. Okay, well, I'm going to go for the heavy infantry because I feel like that's going to probably be enough for us to just test out this recruiting mechanic a little bit more and also to equip our forces. So, 17,000. Oh, your trainer skill of four removes four days. Well, that's nice. Very nice. Okay, so there you go. 17,000 has been removed. Okay, so I only have 25,000 now. Ooh, a little bit worrying, isn't it? Yes, a little bit worrying. Okay, so otherwise we have leveled up. So I think I'm going to increase our strength just a little bit more. I'd like to get some more power draw because power strike right now, I'm, I don't really seem to need that too much. I think more proficiency, uh, yes, more weapon master might actually make a good deal of sense as well. But yeah, uh, anyway, I'm going to wait here for some time and maybe there will be an Aztec. Oh, there's one. Oh, there, there, there's, another, there's another one. Okay, there's, there's a couple of the, oh, yes couple of the scoundrels running around here. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to try and take them on. So I'm going to get some good units here. Yeah, some people have said in the comments that the cavalry are not necessarily the greatest thing to go for unless you are going to micromanage them like you would in an RTS or a real-time strategy, yeah, real strategy, yes, uh, something like that. So, yeah, that's not necessarily my strong point, mainly because I like to get in on the action and I don't like to just stand back and do nothing. But, well, anyway, doesn't really matter too much, I suppose. So, wait a minute, what else do we want to take? Ah, serenade infantry, I guess? I, I don't even know. Is there anything else? A trained crossbowman? I, uh, where are the good crossbowmen? I don't know. I can't really find them. Okay, well, I guess I'll just level up a couple of Vagias a little bit, and then we'll see what happens. But I'd very much like to attack these guys. I am very worried, however, that there will be another one of them around. Oh. Okay, wait. Who's that? Ah, routed enemies. Fantastic. Okay, so it appears I might actually... Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, so I did get him in the battle, but obviously they outnumber us, but that's fine. That is actually fine, because we have 79 against 161. Should be perfect. No problem at all. Should be perfect. Unfortunately, I have not bought another horse. I don't think I can be a horse breeder, can I? No, I can't craft a horse. No, that's, <laughs> that's certainly not available. Not just yet, anyway. Who knows? But yes, let's hope that our Vagia marksmen are going to deal some really nice damage. Oh, yes, there we go. Really nice damage already. I'm going to tell them to stand over there. Actually, over there. And then we'll tell our infantry to stand in the front. And unfortunately, I don't have a horse anymore, as I've said. And that means that I can no longer tell our cavalry to follow us. So I'm going to tell our cavalry to do something else. Unfortunately, it's also going to mean that this is a very mountainous region and the mountainous region is going to also indicate that we will not be able to use our cavalry very efficiently and they all have lances which is awful absolutely awful it would be nice if this was a flat battlefield but it's not so we are going to have one of those times when we just have to be kind of careful here so let's get our infantry out the front and i oh no we don't want them to attack just yet do we no ah there Okay, apparently they're just going into attack, which is kind of not what I wanted them to do, but okay. Apparently apparently we are going in now, so yeah, that's another thing from the Flores mod, I, I think. Or it's from some sub-mod that I'm not particularly happy about, because it means that they charge in while holding their, their current formation or position or whatever it is. And yeah, that's not necessarily what I would have liked, to be honest. But it's okay. It is okay. These guys are actually running away? Are you serious? Okay, I'm going to tell our cavalry just to charge in so that we can maybe stop them from skirmishing with us because right now that's not that's not very nice, is it? Okay, I'm going to tell our cavalry, uh, cavalry infantry to charge in as well. Even though they are going to lower their shields somewhat, I think it is worth it just to gain a little bit of distance because otherwise we are just going to have to deal with this all the time and it's going to be quite irritating so let's uh, yeah take them out there we go take them out i am going to take literally zero damage now because we have this armor so i'm pretty happy with that i gotta say it's a lot better than running in bare chested ouch that hurt a little bit uh, oh that hurt a lot more ah ow okay so yes hopefully 
I will be able to survive this. Thank you very much. So I'm going to just heal myself a little bit. Wow, that is very powerful, isn't it? That ability. Oh, wow. Yes, very, very powerful. Okay, so, yes, archers, we need you to come over here, please. Hopefully they are... Oh, wow. Oh, oh, wow. Okay. Okay, so, yes, there's a slight issue. A slight issue is that our archers are now being assaulted by their new reinforcements. But that's okay. That is okay, because we're actually guiding them in the right direction. So, even if they get killed, it's not too bad, because many of these guys only have clubs, and they can't really kill anything. They can just knock them unconscious and stuff, so that's perfectly fine. There we are. Oh, yes. There we are. Very nice. Okay, so... That was it. That was actually very good, because that was kind of a... It was kind of a little bit of a pincer movement there. It wasn't actually meant to be that way, but... Yes, hopefully our archers will be able to resume attacking with their bows. Can you actually shoot? Are you gonna are you gonna shoot or are you out of arrows? No, they're not out of arrows. Oh, it just appears there's a couple of others here still here. Okay. Well it's it's kinda not good, is it? No, there we are. Ah, I shouldn't have left so early, should I? Ah oh, well. I suppose it doesn't matter too much because there's only two enemies remaining. We did lose twenty six to unconsciousness, but that really doesn't matter at all. And there are six deaths for us to account for, but again, that is actually not that bad. But that's exactly my point. This is exactly what happens when we are outnumbered just slightly. You know, we don't need to be outnumbered by 10 to 1 or anything like that, but maybe 2 to 1? 2 to 1 or 3 to 1, we might be able to actually do something. So that's kind of nice. But otherwise, there you go. Are they both going to escape? They are. They are both going to escape. That is so sad. Very, very sad indeed. Okay, so I can take that, which will sell for 4,800. I don't believe it somehow. Really don't believe it, but we'll see. And now what I want to do is take a look at our personal reports. Okay, so we have 5,229 prestige. And... We are a monarch now. You bow for no one. Instead, all people in the realm will bow before you. Okay, so you've reached the highest position possible. Only the Emperor of Calradia is higher, a title unused for a long time. Okay, so basically becoming king just invalidates all the prestige and everything. I think one, a couple of you actually stated that in the comments anyway. So, with that... I am going to be doing, as I stated earlier in the episode, off-screen, and hopefully we'll have a couple of veterans, or what, what, what were they? I, oh, I don't even know now. Anyway, I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.